Hello, I've engineers. Today I'm going to talk about something a little different than I normally do. I wrote an article recently called Real-Time Streaming Data from Postgres into Delta Lake and Unity Catalog Databricks Delta Lake. Nonetheless, interesting. One thing I like to do is kick the tires on new tools, or at least new to me tools, and kind of test them out and see what they can do in the real world. I think that a lot of times that's missing. People review tools and they just regurgitate documentation or features that tool provides and I actually like taking the time to poke at things and try to make them work a little bit and see what happens. So in the spirit of trying something new today I'm going to do something interesting and that is I'm going to try to stream Postgres data real time or at least near real time into Delta Lake and not just open source Delta Lake but Databricks Unity Catalog Delta Lake interesting. Now I haven't been a huge fan of no code, low code tools, but the older I get, the more I realize that code as an engineer means more things that'll break, more bugs. And the more you've been around the block, the more you realize that reducing the amount of code written for a solution is extremely important. And so I decided to check out a tool called Estuary. Now I've heard of Estuary before they've been around a little bit. I'd never used them. Maybe you've heard of them, maybe not. I would kind of call them a low code connector and data source real time streaming. I think they do other stuff as well. Um, if you go to their website, their quote is basically the only platform built on from the ground up for truly real time ETL data integrations set up in minutes. And I kind of wanted to test that out, see if that's true. So what I wanted to see if this tool can deliver what it claims. I just wanted to kind of test it out as I've not played with low code too much. And it just seemed like an interesting project to work on. So I have a personal AWS account as well as I set up a free Estuary account, which is free, no credit card required or anything. I went to the website, set it up, just a couple button clicks, no problem at all. And of course, I also have a premium Databricks account, personal account that I use to obviously write into this Delta Lake and Unity catalog. I'll show you some screenshots here, but basically when going into Estuary, you have a concept called a capture, a new capture, and that's basically just your data source right and they have a bunch of connectors like you would expect and so I just went ahead and clicked on new connector and there's Postgres that popped up and by the way I was using an RDS instance on AWS that I set up and put some data into you can go ahead and see this is my RDS instance estuary test a small little thing but it was gonna do the job so back to Estuary here, I went ahead and clicked Create Capture, and you got this basically connector set up here showing. You just go ahead and enter things like, you know, the instance URL for that RDS, username, password, etc. pretty much what you would expect. I did run into a few errors that popped right away. You could see here, basically turns out I just needed to read the docs a little bit better. You do have to go ahead and create a couple different things, turn on logical replication on the RDS, restart the database, uh, not that big a deal. And another side note that I did have to go ahead and run this SQL here from their docs just to create the flow capture for Estuary to be able to go ahead and connect and use and do its magic in the back end. Not a big deal, really. Of course, at this point, you've set up the connector, and then, honestly, it's pretty easy. Basically, what you do is have to set up a destination called a materialization. And this is the part where I was kind of worried about, um, because, right, we've got the Postgres connection set up. We just needed the Delta Lake with inside Unity Catalog and Databricks. That's the materialization, so that's where the data is going to go. And my Delta Lake is stored, of course, on S3 in the back end. That's how my Databricks account set up. Just a side note, if you're going to use Estuary, it does require Unity Catalog, so you really need like a full-blown Databricks account. You can't have the standard, or you can't have like a free account. You actually have to have a full-blown Databricks Premium account because you need Unity Catalog, and that's how you get Unity Catalog. That's just a side note. And another thing I realized once I started going through materialization setup is that you need to have a SQL warehouse set up apparently. These can be sort of expensive in Databricks. They run a lot, run all the time if you keep them like that. They're kind of expensive. The SQL warehouses are like basically a SQL endpoint that's running all the time. And this is required for materialization from Estuary to pull from Postgres into Databricks. I went ahead and set up a table, Delta table in Databricks. And of course I have the same table set up in Postgres. It's just real simple, that ID and a name, because again, I'm just testing. I want to see what happens. So of course, here's the create materialization UI in Estuary. It's pretty basic. You just enter the endpoint 
things like that, catalog name, whatever. It's a pretty simple setup. Easy enough. You can see that my materialization created. Pretty not bad at all. Pretty easy. So basically the next thing I did was just go ahead and create some SQL that would just insert records into my Postgres database in RDS. So I just, you know, connected to that database with psql. Went ahead and wrote an insert statement to insert some data into that table and see if it would show up on the estuary side in their UI as well as in the Databricks table. When I went and ran this, I right away went to the UI and look, and yes, I could see that obviously something was happening on the materialization for estuary. It kind of has some, you know, graphics there that show you the data it's capturing, and yeah, it showed that, you know, it captured data as soon as I inserted that record into Postgres, so that's obviously a good thing. It looks like estuary is working. When I first started checking the table in Databricks, you know, catalog, I didn't see anything in there, which is kind of strange because I could see estuary is picking it up kind of messing around after doing a little research I figured out there is a refresh interval and it was set to one hour which obviously if you're doing more real-time stuff um, that wouldn't work so I went ahead and changed it to be a shorter setting and you can see all of a sudden bam my records showed up in the Delta table that's pretty awesome now I've worked a lot with Postgres and Databricks over the years and I've written tons of code that syncs data from actually Postgres to Databricks and actually the other way around from Databricks to Postgres and I've written a lot of code to do that and you know at this point in my life I know that more code equals more problems. I was surprised how easy it was to set up the connection details between Postgres and Delta Lake on Databricks. With Estuary I thought it'd be a little bit more difficult and problems. I mean I did run into one or two problems that was just me learning the tool having to set up you know reading the documentation better and set up some more details and stuff with the connections but you know I figured it out within 10 minutes or so. And yeah, of course, you could hand roll your installations to do this, but you know, I'm thinking about streaming data from Postgres at Delta Lake. I don't know. That seems like a pretty serious problem to tackle. You'd probably have to have Spark streaming, some other streaming thing that's picking up the changes in Postgres and putting them into a stream and then picking them up on a Spark streaming endpoint on Databricks, something like that, right? Just a lot of code. So I just started thinking about the amount of code and the complexity I would need to have to create just to simply get data from Postgres into Delta Lake in a fairly real-time manner, that would be like, it's not really a no-brainer. That would take a reasonable amount of code and a little bit of complexity there that I would have to manage. So even though I've not always been a fan of low-code, no-code in this case, I think this is kind of a no-brainer from Estuary if you need this kind of thing. I'm not really sure about their pricing model and stuff, but honestly, I mean, it took me like 10 minutes to set up and just to see it work out of the box like that, just insert some records into Postgres, bam, they're over my Delta Lake table. I mean, that frees up the engineer to actually work on things that they need, the business logic, other downstream ETL, and not have to really worry about the solved problem of pulling data real time from Postgres into Delta Lake. So yeah, nice short videos. It's real cool. If you haven't checked out Estuary, check them out. They're not sponsoring me or anything like that. I just thought it was a really slick tool, really easy. And honestly, Databricks is still kind of new-ish. I know a lot of people use them. Unity Catalog Delta Lake is still kind of new-ish. And it's kind of hard to find tools that work really well. And that's pretty awesome that uh, Estuary got this integration set up like that. Someone like me, just out of the blue, can come within 10, 15 minutes, set up, get data streaming from RDS instance then. AWS over to Delta Lake and Unity Catalog on Databricks. That's pretty impressive. It's a good job.